More wounded foreigners were flown home today, glad to be alive, as staff cleaned up at the Leopold Cafe. Carried to Sydney on a stretcher, this was Katie Anstey's homecoming. She was carefully taken from the back of the aircraft, then lowered to a waiting van. Katie was shot through the leg by gunmen in Mumbai. While some of the Australians caught up in the terror attacks are finally home, one man is Phil Sweeney, who was trapped on the 14th floor of the Oberoi Hotel. Fearing death, he made a heartbreaking call to his four kids to say goodbye. I thought I was going to die. I had a few minutes and um, uh, the most harrowing thing I've ever done is to make those calls, absolutely. He's confessed to being trained by Lashka e Toiba, a terror group with links to Pakistan's intelligence service. The only captured terrorist has told authorities the group planned to kill 5,000 people. The mob was ecstatic. A court had delivered exactly what they wanted, the removal of the country's prime minister. And so the week-long siege of Bangkok's new showpiece airport is over. Frustrated and exhausted, nearly 300 Australian tourists who were rescued overnight. They drove 14 hours to Phuket. <coughs> Tempers flared during the mad scramble to secure seats on the Qantas charter jet. Back in Sydney, emotional reunions after a family holiday they'd rather forget. Uh, hell. <laughs> but happy to be home. Many feel abandoned by the Australian government. I've got two children at home um, and I just want to get home to them. So. The Reserve Bank has taken more drastic action to try to protect the Australian economy from the global financial crisis. The 1% cut was at the top end of expectations. I think it's an amazingly large cut. I was expecting only three quarters of a percent. I think it signals the fact that the Reserve Bank is indeed quite concerned about the fact that Australia may indeed slip into recession. The Treasurer was handed the news in Parliament. Moments later, a second delivery. The Commonwealth Bank has just announced it will be passing on the RBA rate cut in full. The global financial crisis is threatening the world's most popular and famous polar bear. Knut is being evicted from the Berlin Zoo after keepers claim they can't afford the $16 million needed to care for him. The best idea is a, a show with Knut, There is my Mutter, which basically is like find my family in German. <laughs> so we're going to get him out here <laughs> for There is my Mutter. They if we brought him back and, and, said, and did the thank God Knut's here, yep. <laughs> we would clean him up. We'd oh, take care yeah, of him. Absolutely. Sunrise returns tomorrow from 6am.